Hi, this is Kelly, and I learned about the raw food diet in 2009, and it's magically transformed my life. Join my raw food channel and come with me on my raw, high adventures. My first one was in the kingdom of Bhutan, where I wrote about my discoveries in the tiger's temple, and I learned how the yogis, the Himalayan yogis, live off prana. Join me, look for my book, you guessed the title, From Hollywood to God. My next adventure is... Wow, just stunning. Hi, this is Kelly on beautiful Jacksonville Beach, and this YouTube video is on hormone replacement therapy during menopause. I found some incredible information from a group of renowned world scientists, which includes three Nobel laureates at a science facility called Red Hutch. This team works on preventative cancer, diagnosis, treatment, cancer cures, HIV cures, AIDS cures, and other diseases. Here is what's fascinating, is their list of top tip breast cancer preventions. Number one, avoid becoming overweight. Number two, eat healthy. Number three, keep physically active. Number four, drink little or no alcohol. Number five, don't smoke. Number six, breastfeed for six months if you're a mother. Seven, the most fascinating one of all, avoid hormone replacements. This includes bio-identical hormones and those hormonal creams that you buy at your natural health food store. They are not safer than the prescription medication for hormone replacements. They should all be avoided. And last, they suggest you get regular breast screenings, but by the diagnosis of your medical physician. What does this mean to me? This means if you're overweight and have breast cancer in your family, you may be under a different level of screening than if you're a raw vegan Buddhist that's lean and following all these directions. So you might want to talk to your doctor about how much exposure to like a mammogram or what type of ultrasound or how often your treatment should be based on what the physician believes is necessary, especially if you're working with these geniuses. But we really need to be focusing on health and looking great and feeling great as we age. And we need to have, we need to support scientists to find prevention as well as cures, of course. But I don't want to be associated as a mother with cancer. So, the rest of this YouTube, I am going to give you solutions during menopause that will help you through it, naturally. And then, for the rest of it, seek medical advice. I'm not a physician, I'm just reading what the greatest scientists in the world think. Behind me is the beautiful Atlantic Beach, Florida. I'm standing right next to Ocean's One Hotel, which used to be called the Turtle Inn, in John Gershom's books. <laughs> And my very first tip is to introduce green juicing into your life to replace a meal. And we are going to the famous Biomax. Right there is the health juice bar in Atlantic Beach. It's called Biomax. And right now, every city has a juice bar. There was even one in Brussels. There was one, an amazing one in Rome. Active, natural, what is it called? Active Natural um, Active Natural Foods, maybe? I'll post the link below. Right, I'm enjoying my green juice for breakfast, and right behind me is Pete's Bar, another landmark in the John Gershom stories. No problem, put it on that.
I'm having a cup of St. John's wort. <laughs> I was reading a couple, or watching a couple YouTubes that were kind of sad, but actually they were extremely sad. And how the mind works is thoughts string together like thoughts. So if I'm watching some sad YouTubes, they start stringing together more and more sad thoughts and now I'm depressed. <laughs> That's really funny. Actually, I'm not depressed now because I just had a glass of St. John's wort tea and this is my second glass. It was such a huge hit, I couldn't believe it. Within 10 minutes, I, I felt elated. Kind of scary, kind of scary good. I'm, this is going to be a killer ad for them. And so this is my second cup. It says, traditionally used to support a relaxed state of mind. Pretty cool, 24 bags. Oh well, I'll probably only have two cups tonight. I want to be my typical wild self. Anyway, this is my beautiful cup from um, Antwerp, Belgium, from the store called Rit Rituals. When I walked in there, the girl gave me this amazing cup of tea. Actually, I'll show you the box. It's, it was just to die for. It was incredible. And uh, I bought the box and I bought the cup that it came in. And look how beautiful, look how beautiful this is. Another thing I do is sleep with the window wide open. I follow Victoria Botanko's book, Green for Life, and David and I try to drink a pound of green leaves a day either in juicing or blending, and we vary it every day because they have alkaloids. These are tiny little toxins, which is why animals graze. But the chlorophyll acts as a quantum transporter going into your 50 trillion cells and removing all the toxins, pulling them out. So the green juice is a big thing, and varying the leaves is the key to the dopamine staying level so that you feel happy. I'm taking these to go. They're having a sale right now. Celery, uh, spinach, kale, lemon. I think that's what's in the right one. And then it's apple and kale in the left one. And I'm getting some raw almonds for a snack for later. I already had raw Brazilian nuts the other day. And so now I'm going for something different. I even bury my nuts. And there's the raw almonds, which I'm going to get two handfuls for today, for uh, later this afternoon. I love the taste and the quality of distilled water, which is also called deionized. This is the spring water, but a more expensive process where they boil it and collect the steam and this pH balance for your body. I like to juice the green apples. They're less sweet, and so you're not gonna get as much of a glucose spike. So I'm going to tell you everything I know about the raw food diet and how it changes your brain, how it changes your thoughts. Imagine that you've had a thousand lives, a thousand different names, as if energy doesn't die, and you're floating in space, and a voice called out to you and said, who are you? Which name and which lifetime would be the real you? Well, maybe we're more of a feeling than a who. I had to ponder this for a while. What is my real feeling of everything I am? And I came up with the word free and the feeling of freedom. And therefore, the clothes that match were free people. Without becoming too obsessed, I am trying to buy organic and no more leather, no more animals have to die so that I can look hot. Those are the few of the changes, and this will avoid the toxic dyes and the toxic chemicals on our clothes. Not only the dye on our skin, but also the planet. It's These toxins are poured out onto the land and ruining our soil, as well as the pesticides. So we're playing a part when we choose wisely we're basically calling a new demand in, you know, supply and demand. And if we are not buying it, they're not going to produce it. I 
hope this helped because there are so many things that we run to for quick solutions like birth control that's injected into your arm as a patch which became completely dangerous and caused tumor growths in young girls. Even birth control itself, the pill, is questionable. We just have no amazing solutions yet and this hormone replacement therapy is just one more of the problems. I was really shocked during Mother's Day when they turned it into a breast cancer day. Mothers and breast cancer, or mothers and cancer in general, are now like identical. We are not healthy mothers, amazing mothers, living into our hundreds, happy and healthy, and watching our grandkids grow up. Why? Well, some of these things we can do. Some of these things are in our hands. Please spread this word. No more hormone replacements. Or please speak to your doctor in great detail about them. And look it up, do your own research. Woo! And follow me on this raw food diet, which is what I use to stay off replacements and to feel great and not gain any weight, which is what those hormone replacements do. I feel incredible. Did I have symptoms? Yes. But I have some solutions and I'm going to put these on the back of this beach scene. Alright? Follow me. Give this a thumbs up if you like this information.